less than sedentary lifestyle too. Um, we've uh, is uh, threatening and dangerous. It wasn't lying. Um, if he got me in the eye, um, yeah, I can see why people scream and run away now. Try not to get hit by a car on the way home now. We're not having a nice day today here in Sydney. Grey old day. Well, it's a nice day for ducks. Speaking of birds, I had a bad experience when I went out to do a little bit of uh, work in the field. Of late, I felt that I've become a little bit sedentary, sitting down, playing radios, probably uh, eating and drinking too much is starting to take its toll. So I decided to take the, the treadley, the bike out for a bit of a ride. And I threw a hand talkie in the pannier. So I thought I might have a crack at uh, doing a QSO out in the field. Guess where I am? It's it's not Fiji, it's not Tahiti, it's sunny Kurnell, and uh, I think this is a well kept secret in Sydney because uh, as industrial and grimy as its past was, it's actually very pleasant here. I've ridden the uh, the treadley over here, writing checks that my body cannot cash, and now I have to get home. I'm going to make a quick uh, uh, attempt to call a mate, a DX style, across the uh, across the vast ocean in uh, the inner west. And, uh, chased a bunch of people who didn't know CW until I found someone who did know CW and loved the call. I videoed it. I'm trying to send it to you. It was 40 meg, so I don't think it's going to. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, uh, no. respect all modes. So I'm happy to pick up a microphone. I think people should be happy to receive some basic CW, but. Uh, Maybe that's um, asking a bit too much, uh, over. <laughs> now, Chris VK2NAP has just started posting some ham stuff to his channel, stuff about CW and some technical stuff, etc. So make sure you check it out. Um, it didn't actually say anything specifically in the rules. You can't cross mode. So we've got we've got video of me doing the uh, doing CW. I guess you could always have a quick squiz on their QRZ page and see if they do CW as a mode and uh, and then you'd know that they speak the lingo. It's very industrial, yeah lots to see, lots of planes taking off and landing and you know ships coming and going and all that sort of stuff so hopefully if we get a nice day and uh, we take the kayak out we'll be able to uh, to get out into the bay. If it's like it is today it's probably doable. I think I'm going to get wet. You little thug. This little vandal just tried to kill me. Take a good look at him. Australia's most wanted. We've uh <laughs> Whoever said that Australian wildlife is um is uh, threatening and dangerous. It wasn't lying. Um, if he got me in the eye, I can see why people scream and run away now. Let's try and get a, uh, a bit of a close up on the, uh, the damage. And we finished the uh, Captain Cook drive bit and uh, now we're back on the bike paths. So we take it easy. So I tend to uh, smash it hard on the way to Kurnell along Captain Cook Drive and then respecting pedestrians in the shared path. Um, I don't try to make it the Tour de France because that's just a surefire bet to either hit someone or hurt someone or hurt yourself.
this is the uh, the history of the area and uh, just to give you a little bit of a, an insight this is a remnant of a wharf that was used for the oysters that used to be here the oyster farms history of the oyster farming businesses here and the Lewis family had uh, oyster farms here till the 1970s when a disease called the QX disease decimated the oyster industry in the Georges River and that's when they changed their focus to uh, their marine repair facility which uh, as you can see here was servicing um, private craft as well as essential services such as the water police and Coast Guard, City Port Pilots, Navy and Army, etc. And they had this site till um, 2015. And I'm assuming that uh, in 2015, it sold for a bomb. And uh, whoever inherited it doesn't have to uh, paint boats or uh, pluck oysters out of the ocean. Good luck to them. starting to rain. I'll try not to drop the camera. Very windy up here. Quick question. What else can go wrong on this ride? Uh, we've been attacked by wild animals. See if I can fix it. Uh, it's a little bit sticky, but uh, I'm counting on a bit of cable stretch, so we'll see how we go. What else could possibly go wrong? It's going to try not to get hit by a car on the way home now. We've made it home and uh, yes, there's dangers in a sedentary lifestyle, but obviously there's dangers in a less than sedentary lifestyle too. You're still here. Thank you for sticking around and uh, coming on that little adventure with me. The plan now is to get hold of a squid pole, which I've ordered, and we're going to take the kayak out. We're going to do some kayak camping and some work on CW and getting some rigs out and, and about in the field. So it can be a little bit more active. This has been another episode of the Art of Engineering. Hope you've enjoyed this very short video and uh, we'll see you in the next one, 7-3.